Hi guys, uh, in today's video, we're going to see how to fix uh, smart life devices are not uh, getting available in the home assistant. So what was happening is uh, when I log into the home assistant like a uh, few days ago, what happens is uh, my old smart life app or Tuya app are not listing. So it is showing that the authentication problem. So as you can see uh, in the file uh, it was sh showing me something like this authentication expired for this so all you need to do is you need to go to the update section and update the core and the version of the operating system so when you do that uh, what it will do is uh, it will change the plugin uh, which is required by the tuya and then it will ask for your new uh, type of uh, authentication. So earlier, if you remember that uh, when you wants to add to your devices, you need to create a developer account. And then from the developer account, you have uh, created authorization key and that authorization key uh, needed to be uh, added in the home assistant uh, plugin, uh, plugin section. So now, uh, they have changed the authentication mechanism of uh, Tuya. Now they are using a code. So you need to go to the uh, your app and then scan uh, a QR code uh, which is going to be shown on a home assistant uh, application. And when you do that, uh, it will just uh, use authentication uh, from your mobile. So that code will be shared from the mobile, not from the uh, developer account. So it by doing that, it 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 will become very easy. And as uh, as we all know that uh, it's really a like. A, very hectic task to go to the developer section and uh, see the authorization key and load and all. So let's see how we can log in it. So uh, before following this step, you need to update the core of uh, Home Assistant and operate and the operating system. As you can see, I I'm using 11.5 right now. So uh, when you do that, uh, you need to click on this. So when you go to the settings, it will going to show one repair something. So when you click on it, it will show something like this that the two integration now uses an improved login method to re-authenticate uh, with your smart life or two-year account you need to enter a user account user code so as you can see uh, it is saying the same thing which uh, i have explained and uh, now you can uh, it is saying that that settings account security screen enter the shown uh, uh, code shown on the user code field So it will uh, show something like this, uh, this QR code. So first you need to go to the app and uh, add the user code here as, as it has mentioned in, in this. And then after that, uh, it will show something like this, use a smart life and to your app and follow the QR code. So after uh, typing the code from the setting section of your uh, Tuya or Smart Life app, uh, then you need to scan this uh, QR code in your app again. So when you click on the add button of uh, Tuya application, uh, it, it it will show that uh, the scan, scan function that scan to add the device. So when you do that, uh, it will open the camera and you need to scan this QR code. And when you do that, uh, you need to click on the submit. So when you do uh, submit, uh, what it will do is it will re-authenticate the thing and it uh, your devices start uh, showing it again. But uh, yes, it will start showing it again. And uh, if it is not uh, showing it at that moment, uh, then you need to restart your home assistant again and then it will start showing it. So as you can see, uh, I have a bunch of uh, Two year supported devices um, where they are. So, as you can see, this my uh, two year related devices. So, one drawback of this is that uh, all the settings uh, which I have uh, configured in this uh, app before uh, changing the authentication mechanism, they are all gone. So, as you can see, uh, it is not uh, added in any room. So it is just showing that gallery psychosis. It was supposed to be inside a gallery room, 
uh, and uh, gaming should be inside the gaming but uh, it is not showing it now so you need to add again not uh, uh, sure about the home automation whether uh, it's available or not but i think all the entities have been changed so i think you need to create all the authentication part so that is how i'm uh, currently using it and uh, i have also created a video to fix the sun off things and for some reason uh, it started to show unavailable again and then uh, yes i think that's it and uh, let me just show you what operating system version and core version i'm using right now so let me just go to the about section and see as you can see core version is 2024 something and uh, operating system is 11.5 so for this version uh, smart lab app is working uh, sunon office was also working like few minutes ago but it is not working now so i'm not sure <laughs> why it is happening so i hope uh, you get some idea like how to fix this uh, i hope uh, this video of some help so let's um...